You don't put ginger on the fish. It's to clear the palate between pieces. Eating is something we all pretty much have down, or do we? Here are 20 foods you're eating wrong. Deciding not to soak your beans. Good luck with that. It's the end of the day, you're tired, you just want to go to sleep, but you remember that tomorrow you are responsible for cooking the evening meal, a beautiful vegan chili. And the plain truth is that if you don't take the time to quickly open up the package of beans and toss them into a pot of water overnight to soak them, guess what? The beans will take twice as long to cook tomorrow. What is taking so long? Not only that, but by having to cook them for a much longer time, the beans will be losing way more vitamins and nutrients. A pomegranate bath to get those seeds. Warm bath, right? We've all tried to eat a pomegranate with dignity, but let's face it, we want the good stuff without getting squirted on purple, stained, and in big trouble for ruining the tablecloth. Ah! The first thing to do is wash the outside of the pomegranate, then slice the pomegranate into four quarters. Take a medium-sized bowl and fill it with cold water. Place the pomegranate pieces in the bowl and let them soak for a few minutes. When you go to retrieve the seeds, you will be amazed at how easy your treasure hunt becomes. The netting will float up to the top as you simply dismantle the seeds, which will fall to the bottom of the bowl. All you then have to do is to slant the bowl over your sink to remove the water and the netting, and voila! The treasured seeds will be yours for the eating, or cooking, or blending, or baking. Adding greens into your sandwich mixture. Say green. 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 Your intentions are great. You want to eat more greens. You chop your lettuce or collard greens or bok choy up into your sandwich or taco, along with the other veggies and proteins. Mmm, delicious. But then you get to work or school, only to discover at lunchtime that the delicacy you created has become a soggy, sensational mess. Here's a simple trick to save the day. Leave your lettuce leaf or bok choy leaf or collard green leaf whole as a barrier inside your pita or taco or roll between the fixings and the shell. You will retain your nutrients and you will indeed save yourself from a mushy sandwich. By doing this, you prevent even the mayo from the tuna or salmon from seeping into the bread. Scooping ice cold frozen ice cream. Ice cream? I like ice cream. The candles have been blown out, and now all the kids are awaiting their slices of cake accompanied by a scoop of ice cream, of course. Perfect. There you stand, attempting to scoop out the hard ice cream from the tub. You dig and dig and dig. The best way to solve this problem is to buy the rectangular slabs of ice cream instead of the tubs. And then you unwrap the ice cream block and place it onto a cutting board. Take a knife and simply slice the ice cream up and the kids will be served in no time at all. Pizza leftovers don't have to be soggy. Look at this thing, it's all hot and glowy. I'll never have cold pizza again. Everyone orders extra pizza on pizza night for the mere delight of having leftovers the next day. But most people just toss the slices into the microwave for a quick meal. The slices turn out soggy. Ah, uh, horse shit! The pizza is edible, of course, but it could be so much more enjoyable. Take your griller, the one you make your grilled cheese sandwiches on, place one slice on the bottom and another upside down so the cheeses and fillings are touching each other and the pizza crusts are each touching a side of the griller. Now you have a crispy pizza sandwich. Defeating the healthy part of eating yogurt. A yogurt? Oh, a lot of yogurt. I love yogurt. There's no need to spike your blood sugar to a crazy level each and every time you attempt to benefit from healthy, calcium-rich, protein-filled yogurt. I have both type 1 and 2 diabetes. Ow! Buy frozen, unsweetened cherries, then purchase the plain, low-fat yogurt of your choice. You can either prepare the yogurt the night before by placing some frozen fruit in a cup and covering it with the yogurt, or if you like frozen fruit straight from the freezer, just add it to your cup when you open it up. Add some sweetener to taste. Overcooking your broccoli. Eat your broccoli. No. The best way to keep the vitamin C and chlorophyll and other nutrients in the broccoli you're going to eat is to steam it instead of boiling it or stir-frying it. When broccoli's overcooked, all of the good stuff plainly leaches out. Always remember that. You can always dip it in a nice peanut sauce afterwards for a bit of added protein and delicious taste. Wash that cantaloupe. Santiago loves cantaloupe time. Many people think that because they're not eating the outside skin of the cantaloupe, they do not have to bother to wash it. Wrong -o. 
know. There's a lot of dirt and bacteria trapped onto the outer skin of the cantaloupe. You need to truly scrub it well and then pat it dry before preparing it. This will prevent you from getting the germs from the outside onto your hands and then transferred into the yummy flesh of the fruit when you slice into it with the blade of your knife. Watch what's in that salad. Extra croutons and extra anchovies. You're trying to be diligent about eating healthy to lose or maintain your weight, so you swear not to have a sandwich, avoiding those extra bread calories. But then you throw everything but the kitchen sink into a bowl and claim you're just having a salad staying on track. The truth is, if you're adding bacon bits and sweet potatoes and croutons and nuts and seeds and mayo to your bowl, you're eating more calories than you should consume in an entire day. Load up your bowl with low-calorie cruciferous veggies and add just a smidge of dressing with olive oil. Just a little bit. I can't stress the littleness of it enough. Then add just a couple ounces of lean protein. Mix it up and eat until you're full. Ruining a smoothie with too many ingredients. Mother Oreo smoothie now! Making a smoothie because you're in a rush once in a while is fine. But the truth is, solid food will send more of a message of fullness to your brain than a drink ever will. And if you fill that smoothie with nut butters and protein powders and fruit and milk, you can easily overload the amount of calories you should be consuming consuming during a day. Even as a meal replacement, ensure that you're not overdoing it. I'm for real. Choose only a few ingredients to fill you up while not adding unnecessary calories. It's important to have some protein in the shake to help keep your hunger at bay. Add ice to expand the amount of fluid you will ingest so you'll have almost two to three cups of liquid to get you through the morning. But be aware of what you're putting into it. Even if you're not watching your weight, an overdone smoothie can just as easily be equal to ordering a milkshake at a fast food restaurant. Overcooking pasta or whole grains. That's kind of tough. Did you overcook this? Whenever you cook pasta or any other whole grain, you should take note that boiling these items for too long will allow the vitamins to leach out into the water. The best way to cook pasta is to cook it al dente. Al dente describes any pasta or even rice that is considered firm to the bite. Bravo. Bravo. This way, the pasta or rice will not be mushy, nor will they have lost their nutrients. Canned vegetables are already cooked. You want me to reheat it for you? The convenience of veggies in a can is underestimated. You've already saved time on washing and cleaning the vegetables. You have not had to chop or slice or dice or core. All you have to do to benefit from these vegetables is to find your can opener and to heat up your unearthed delights. But many people overcook the vegetables instead of merely heating them up. When you do this, you ruin the flavor of the vegetables, you wreck the texture of the vegetables, and you lessen the value of the nutrients in the vegetables. Vegetables. Two thumbs down. Follow the instructions, heat minimally, and serve. Using ginger as a topping on your sushi. I'd really like some sushi. Did you know that ginger was never meant to be something you threw over your sushi before biting in? Many people take their sushi piece and treat it like a pizza slice, topping it with wasabi and ginger until the whole piece is falling all over the place. No wonder people have trouble balancing the piece of sushi on their chopsticks. I'm very disappointed in you. Treat the ginger as it was intended. It is a palate cleanser meant to be enjoyed between different kinds of sushi pieces or even afterwards. No judgment, of course, but we just thought you should know. Not taking the time to break down your garlic. Raw garlic cures everything. We've all been in a rush at some point in the kitchen, especially when we're hungry or tired or just realized it's our turn to have the entire basketball team over to our house for a spaghetti and meatball dinner. However, no matter the reason, Reason, it's always important to take the garlic and chop it up or crush it up or mince it up instead of just throwing the entire pod into the dish. To begin with, you will definitely get more antioxidants into the meal when you have sliced or chopped up the garlic. Antioxidants are activated when the inside is exposed. Even more importantly, the garlic will offer more flavor to the dish when it is properly prepared. <laughs> not to mention the great aroma. Throwing out citrus rinds. I buy them wholesale. You should not be treating lemon, lime, and orange skins as trash, for they offer many benefits. When life gives you lemonade, make lemons. 
Life will be all like, what? To begin with, before using these fruits, you should wash them well. You never want any outside germs to be transferred inside with the slice of your knife. But after you have used the fruit inside, the skins can still be used. They are full of flavonoids as well as fiber. Flavonoids are phytonutrients, which are found in almost all fruits and vegetables. You just need to grate them, and then you have zest, which you can add to any dish to make it more flavorful. Throwing out broccoli and cauliflower stems. Cauliflower gives me the scoots. The stems from broccoli have more fiber and vitamin C and calcium than the florets do. Many people cut off the florets because they're easier to eat and prettier to look at in a salad or on a platter. However, you can use the stems of these vegetables as bases for soups and stews. Sounds good to me! They're still vegetables and will add vitamins and fiber to every dish. Grocery prices are on the rise, so it's important to utilize every piece of the vegetable whenever possible. Chomping right into a dumpling. You want the last dumpling, Sheldon? Certainly. Did you know that the best and safest way to eat a dumpling is to allow some of the fluid, which has seeped into it while cooking, out? When you don't do this and you bite into the dumpling, all that hot fluid can come pouring out all over your face and clothing. Definitely sounds bad. Okay. All you have to do is simply puncture the dumpling with a toothpick or a fork before proceeding to eat it. This also helps to cool the inside down if the dumpling is extra hot, allowing for a more enjoyable bite. Less palate burn is always welcome. Only appreciating raw tomatoes. I only eat it for the nutrients. We all know tomatoes are good for us. They also happen to be delicious and very versatile. Indeed. Indeed. But did you know that the lycopene in tomatoes, a carotenoid hydrocarbon which can protect you from heart disease, stroke, or cancer, is easier to get from canned tomatoes or a sauce that's been cooked for a while? The lycopene becomes more available in these dishes. If you add a smidge of fat, such as olive oil, this will always help your body absorb the phytonutrient. Throwing out pistachio shells as you eat them. It could be useful. Many people love pistachios, but eating them can sometimes be a bit of a challenge. Like when your nails start breaking while trying to open those which are not so easily opened up. It's too much! Well, look no further than the empty shells you've already managed to disassemble. A mere pistachio shell can be a tool for opening up the rest of the pistachios in your bowl. The shell offers a simple solution to helping you enjoy the rest of the harder to open ones. Toblerone bar dismantling. If you're going to the airport, can you pick me up another one of those Toblerone bars? Who doesn't enjoy a famous Toblerone bar available in white chocolate, milk chocolate, dark chocolate? But oftentimes, especially when you're trying to break off the larger sized triangles, you find your fingers and hands smudged with the chocolate from fighting with it. Next time you're indulging, instead of prying the pieces <laughs> apart, simply press the tip of one triangle towards its next door neighbor. The piece will easily break off and voila! Easy peasy. You've easily got your triangular piece of chocolate and your fingers remain chocolate free. Noise.